Hello friend, good morning. I just woke up. Um, my face might be a little puffy, but this is me bright and early. Last night my roommate left to go back home for the summer. She's only staying there for a few weeks, but as of now, now that my mom is no longer visiting me for my graduation ceremony, I am living alone for the first time. I thought it may be interesting to document what I'm up to this week as my first time living alone. I'm a pretty independent person and I like to spend a lot of time by myself, so I don't think it's going to be any big revolutionary experience and I always have things to keep me busy. Right now, current stay in my room is mess because I'm actually working on my room makeover room tour video. I started filming that yesterday, but I think I need to go pick up a few items and I might do some plant shopping. My fiddle fig, she's recovering, I think. I got her in the first place because I was reading a bunch of blogs and they said that fiddle fig leaves are supposedly their easy house plants for beginners. That is a lie. I don't know what part of it is easy, but it's she's suffering and I'm trying my best, but it's not a good starter plant. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get changed now and head out. <laughs> having it today. <laughs> Before I head out, I wanted to show you the deodorant that I've been using recently. Recently, I made the switch to using aluminum-free clean deodorant, and that's why I was super excited when Native reached out to me and asked to partner with me on this video. In general, I've been trying to make the switch to using vegan and cruelty-free types of products. That's why I really love the Native deodorants, because not only are they vegan and cruelty-free, they use simple ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil, things that I'm already very familiar with, and they're also sulfate and paraben free. The texture is not sticky and it dries really fast, so it's perfect when you're on the go. I like to just keep one of these in my purse just in case I ever need to freshen up while I'm out. And the scent I'm using today is the coconut vanilla scent, and oh, I love the scent of coconut so much. I have nearly all my beauty supplies in coconut scent when it's available, so I was really excited to try this one out. I also chose a lilac and white tea scent, which smells so, so fresh. Native also sent me an aloe and green tea scent, and that one was actually my favorite, but uh, when my mom visited, she smelled it, and she was like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> so me being the lovely little daughter I am, I gave it to her and let her take it back home with her. Native has a wide range of scents for you to choose from, and the scent stays all day even if you've been sweating and exercising a lot. If you live in the US like I do, Native offers free shipping. Three plastic-free deodorants are normally around $39, but if you use my link and discount code Annika's Leaf, you can get them for 25% off at the price of just $29. Now it is time for me to finally head out. <laughs> Thank you. 
하게 준비한 색이 있고 근데 갑자기 막 꽂히는 색이 있는 거예요 와 후기 벌써 나왔어 그걸 들어볼까? When I was baking these, I came to the realization that I don't have a rolling pin. So instead of rolling out the dough, I just kind of smacked it with the bottom part of my hand. And this dough was so sticky. Not a fun experience. I don't have a biscuit cutter either, but the glass I used worked out pretty well, I'd say. It is Tuesday, which means that it is Panera Bread pickup time. How do people set up these car vlogs? <laughs> Usually in my bagel batches, I just get like half sesame and half Asiago bagel. Delicious. I thought that while lighting is beautiful in the car, I would do a little car vlog update. So update on my whole driving anxiety. I used to be super, super terrified of driving by myself and that's really just because I did not have that much experience before I got my license and when I did have driving experience, it was always, there was always someone in the car with me, whether that be my mom when she was teaching me how to drive or a friend or in this case, and once I moved to LA, it was my roommate. Um, just having that comfort of someone there and especially having someone who also knows how to drive was a comfort to me because any time that I would panic, or not that I would panic that often on the road, but any time I'd be worried or I'm like, should I park here and stuff, it was like having a reassurance. I'm not the best driver and I think that's really just because I don't have that much experience. Um, before I got my license, because I was living in Maryland in the DC area, we just had awesome public transportation. So I'd always take the bus or the train anywhere. And there was really no need to get a driver's license because everything was easily accessible. And I personally really enjoy taking public transportation. So I always just procrastinated getting my license. And I only got my permit when I was about 16, I think. I didn't have any experience driving prior to that. So by the time I went to college, I still didn't have a license <laughs> because I was like, well, I'll be in college. I don't even have my own car. Being in LA, I 
had to spend a lot of money on Ubers, unfortunately, and that was not it. So I was like, you know what? I'll do the public transportation system in LA. Everyone complains about public transportation here and how it's super unreliable and inefficient. I was like, that's just because y'all have not lived in a really um, public transportation heavy area like I have. I know how to navigate it. Everyone in LA only knows driving. Of course you guys think it sucks. I was naive. <laughs> it really does. The buses don't run very often. The stops are not very walkable in terms of distance. And just LA is such a spread out place that getting anywhere um, with public transportation would take at least like an hour or two. So I got my license over I think my summer in between first year and second year of college because I knew it was necessary. So that's the amount of time. It's been about two years since I've been driving with my license and I didn't really drive that much even after I got my license because I didn't have a car until I moved out to LA by myself. So yeah, my driving anxiety was quite high but I've really been forcing myself to drive as much as possible by myself because just like a lot of things that we start out um, doing and we feel very uncomfortable, it's very new, it's kind of scary and nerve-wracking, um, I think just keeping at it and getting an experience and stuff is, at least for me, it was the best way of getting over it. I don't think I'm 100% over it, but I'm definitely way better than I was a few months ago. I feel quite comfortable driving by myself right now. Just at night, I am get a little eh, but for the most part. But I am going to go drive back home and eat one of these bagels. I love picking up bagels and eating them fresh in the morning because usually I freeze them and then they're not, they're just not the same as fresh bagels. It's actually been quite a while since I've last had a bagel for breakfast. When my mom was here, she ate the last of my bagels. <laughs> and because I got my jar of peanut butter, my giant jar of crunchy peanut butter, I've been having peanut butter on toast a lot lately for breakfast. So, kind of missed my bagels.